Hey guys, this time I'm up with a uh, animation chapter uh, that's in GeoGebra. I'm going to show you some of the activities in GeoGebra that you might find confusing. GeoGebra is a vast application that you can do lots of stuff in, but I'm going to show you just what's on the textbook uh, to make it easier for you guys. Okay, first remove the unusual stuff. The first activity is with three circles on so making some geometrical patterns. First of all, you gotta draw a line using line segment using through two points and make it as straight as possible. Now find the center point of the circle using the midpoint or center function. Uh, sorry. Oh, damn it. Okay. And you get the center point as C. Now make a slider and click and uh, name the slider and and uh, name it B. Minimum set it as zero and maximum five. Let the incre increment be same as zero point one. Click OK and the slider is formed. Now what you gonna do is create a circle with center and radius. Uh, click on the center of the line as the center and the radius uh, and give the name of the slider so that the radius corresponds to the value of the slider. Now you have, to, uh, you have a circle whose radius, radius is dependent on the slider that is as the slider increases the radius increases and vice versa. Okay. The next thing you want to do is create new points exactly on the point of intersection of the circle and uh, the line. Two points like that. Now create a circle with center and through point. One on this intersection point uh, passing through the center of the other circle and the same on the other side now this is optional but if you want you can remove I mean uh, sh hide this object by untaking the show object by right clicking next step you gotta click on trace on on the both these circles and for the action just click on animation on and just sit back and enjoy the view it resembles something doesn't it Ooh. Of course, it resembles something. Yes, it does. Well, that's about it for the first activity. Now, for the second one, clear. The second activity is just create two points, make a slider. This time, instead of number, choose the angle, and the name changes from alphabets to Greek alphabets. I named it Alpha. Minimum zero, maximum 360, and the increment change increment by without deleting this degree sign. Change it as five degree, and click on Apply. Now create an angle with given size by selecting first the B point, then the A point, and give the angle measure the name of the alphabet we gave the Greek alphabet A ok the name of the slider and click on ok now the angle has formed and a new point B has formed with 45 degree angle at A now the next step is to create a circle with center and through point the center be the uh, newly formed point with the angle and the uh, uh, passing through A at which the angle is made next step is to click on trace on and the animation on sit back and enjoy this and next view GeoGebra is something with a lot of functions such as the sliders which can be used for so many things buttons actually it's kind of fun it's a really experimental substance but we just uh, this year we are just learning uh, like two activities from it you can insert text as you want you can give conditions to show the text depending on sliders you can insert images um, find ta uh, area slope distance angles whatever there are a lot of functions in GeoGebra that I might like and I use it so often but this is as far as I can record right now so good day guys thanks for watching signing off go in